Yeah, I'm rocking the uh, Trekology Aluft Aluft UL80. Uh, I bought it later in the year last year. I used it last September when uh, we went on our trip to Path Lake. I got the uh, Trekology all blown up here, nice and thick. So I'm looking forward to giving this a shot. It's got good reviews on uh, YouTube. Imagine that. So one of the things I did want to talk to you guys about is this uh, Trekology Aluft UL80. And um, I just noticed uh, Mark bought one on my recommendation, which is cool because if you are a person of size, a uh, bigger person, person with some weight, I'm about 275, and you are a side sleeper, this is the sleeping pad for you. Packs down really small, but it's four inches thick. So this thing is terrific. I've used it uh, plenty of times now. Mark's used his a uh, few times now, and he, he's given glowing recommendation as well. So if you're looking for uh, a sleeping pad that works for you, this is, this is the one if you're a bigger person. Don't worry about people buying Thermarest. I have a couple of Thermarest. They're good pads, good quality. Uh, however, nowhere near as comfortable as this one is. So go with something that you know somebody else has used and it works for them. And clearly I'm not a small man and I can tell you I side sleep and this is terrific. Only downfall, it's not really wide enough for me. But because I'm side sleeping the majority of the time, I really don't find it to be an issue. When I am on my back, my shoulder blades will be hanging over the sleeping pad a little bit. But I don't find it to be too big of a deal because predominantly I'm side sleeping one side or the other. I also get sore hips when I sleep sometimes, especially when I'm sleeping on a bad sleeping pad. And I'm not getting sore hips with uh, this one. So just to give you uh, some specs I have on my phone here. Uh, we're looking at about 75.2 inches or 191 centimeters long, 22.4 inches wide or 57 centimeters wide, and uh, it's in this format it's about 7.3 inches or 8.5 centimeters by 4.7 inches wide. So you can see how compact and small that is. Again, it would be cool if it was uh, just a bit wider, four inches thick or 10 centimeters thick. You're getting enough loft that you're not touching the ground. At any, no time, once it's uh, aired up, am I touching the ground. So that's uh, the most important thing. And the pack weight on this thing to carry around is uh, 26.5 ounces or 750 grams. So it's actually uh, pretty light. The valve on it's pretty cool too. I'll show you that in a second. But it's uh, you can inflate by mouth, but I suggest using a little pump uh, that you can get on Amazon for 20, 30 bucks. Because once you inflate it, you can take the uh, pump off and it's not going to lose all its air or anything like that. Let's take it out and have a look. It's got a little repair kit that comes with it. It's got a band that goes around it as well. And that's what it looks like. So this is the valve here. Closed. Fill it up. Remove all the air so it can deflate quickly. And that's nice too because um, when you're packing up, especially if the weather conditions aren't great or you're in a hurry to get out, uh, it's nice to get these things deflated quickly, fold it up and back into your uh, into its pack and away you go. Oh, that was an accident. All right, so there we go. Like I said, it's not crazy wide. Uh, I would like for myself, because I'm a pretty wide guy, I would prefer it a little bit wider, but man, it beats sleeping on the ground. And uh, yeah, I like it. Using the uh, the top part, it's got a one-way valve here, so you're not going to be you're not going to be leaking out any air. So even though I haven't closed this yet, so I am going to close it now. Good to go. This is a little pump I have. It's called uh, it's a Camuland mini air pump. You can see the thickness 
right there and I'm six foot so I'm no issue with the uh, with sleeping on it for me taller you may want something a little bit longer but this uh, this does the job it works and again I'm not gonna be touching the ground and I'm a side sleeper and I'm a big guy so I'm always looking for equipment that works well for me I can't worry about uh, equipment that works well for the masses or what's popular or trendy. I have to find equipment that works for my body style or my body type and my weight and whatnot. So I'm always in search for stuff like that and this fits right into that category. So again, if you're a bigger person, a uh, heavier person, you want to have a look at this, uh, the Trekology sleeping pad. Um, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be perfect for you. I, I promise you, you'll love it. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.